Hello everybody, my name is Scotty Loderson and welcome back to Tomb Raider 2. Apologies for this being slightly late. Um, I, for some reason, was suffering from a problem and this game would not initialize in full screen. And of course, I want to play it in full screen. Um, so I've just had to do a bunch of fixes and stuff just to get it to work. It's a never-ending cycle of patching and fixing with these games. But um, it's all working now and hopefully it'll be okay. Um, last episode, we managed to get from the offshore rig and dive down to the wreck of the Maria Doria and acquire the Seraph, which we need to get into the catacombs. The catacombs. <laughs> Fucking hell, that works. Um, the catacombs um, of the monastery um, to get the next thing we need to get into the place where the dagger is. So, we are now in Tibet, having crashed an airplane, and Laura, for some reason, is not dying from hypothermia. So, um, yeah. Um, today's episode, we're going to continue on into Tibet, into the icy wastes, and I love snow levels, so this is going to be fun. Welcome to the stream, anybody watching, if you're new to the channel, like we see, then please hit that follow button, and if you want to subscribe and get yourself those emotes, only available on my channel, which there is now a Tomb Raider remote available. Um, then please do, and thank you for your generosity. Anyway, enough dilly-dallying, I've babbled long enough. Welcome Kiki2596, welcome everybody else watching. Thank you Kiki for checking that the, um, that that bloody, um, sound alert works. Yeah, I got a jump scare sound alert, and the first time somebody uses it, and it doesn't scare me. Okay, I remember this. Oh god. Snow leopards. How's it looking on screen? Is it a bit choppy? Because, um... Seems to be a bit choppy. And that's even on... That's even on the actual, um... Thing itself. But well, appreciate you showing off the emote as well, Kiki. But yes, I now have a jump scare sound alert for those of you who want to use that kind of thing. You sadistic fucks. Um, it's basically a sound alert which I made after yesterday uh -huh. when I was playing a level. Uh, randomly a bunch of rubble fell and scared the shit out of me in this game. So I said, I've just found my um, jump scare sound alert. It was either that or... It was either that or it was going to be... Um, the gargantuan leviathan from subnautica's roar but i thought if i use that i'm never going to be able to play any game ever again because it will scare the shit out of me and i will stop playing so yeah i just realized why have i not got my back menu is this rendered in is this using the software instead of the hardware i don't know Doesn't look too bad. Eat it. Oh! Fucking eagles. But yeah, to answer your question, Kiki, I am not bad, thanks, buddy. I'm doing good. Um, hope you're doing good too. Hope everybody's doing good today. I do like these Tibet levels, they're good fun. And also it's where the challenge gets stepped up again. Because of course it does, it's section 3 of the game. Yeah, nice try. Yeah, so how is everyone doing today, everybody? Is everyone good, everyone watching? Okay, I think I have to go down there, but I'll check up here just in case. Ah, the secret's right there. It may be a case if I have to apply um, the Tomb Raider 2 fix to this again to get it to work. But it's currently running, so... I just don't get why all of a sudden the background for the menu isn't working. Although it is kind of cool, kind of 2 Raider 3 ish.
But all the textures and stuff are working, so... So yes, we got to get the Seraph to the Barkang Monastery. And Barkang Monastery is what I would say is the crowning achievements of Tibet. Um, in terms of, like, a Tomb Raider-y level. And this is where the game starts to um, actually feel more like a Tomb Raider game. Because we're in caves, we're in tombs, the monastery, catacombs. It, it starts to feel more like a Tomb Raider game. Instead of the industrial areas that we've been in for the past several levels. And Venice. Oh, no, you don't. Uh -huh. I can't hit that bastard. But yeah, I just love this level set because it's got snow! And Lara's wearing the bomber jacket and the shorts and... I'm gonna say, if this if this is running in software mode, then fair play to it. It's still running pretty good. Ow. The only problem with this um, section of the game is it ups the ante with the guys with guns, basically, because you start to get snow troopers, guys in, and they have very powerful attacks. And they also use, um, mm -hmm. and they also use the automatic pistols, so, yeah. But, uh -huh. this also introduces the second vehicle in this game, and arguably the better one. Um, which is the snowmobile, or the skidoo, whatever you want to call it. Snowmobile to me. Permission to use the Scotty gun. Oh yeah, thank you, Sonic the Pingus Man. Also, hi, Sonic the Pingus Man. Good to see you. Thanks Ow! That one fucking hurts. Hello, Paranormal Shadow. Thank you for joining us. I'm glad to see you all like my sound alerts. Yeah. Perfect for my kind of entrance. Yes, that was pretty perfect for you. Um, everybody watching, make sure you follow and subscribe to Sonic the Pingers Man and Paranormal Shadow. Anyway... Whoa! Why, why did you make made sound so cheap? Um, the sound is literally from Tomb Raider Two, dude. <laughs> this music rocks. Yeah, this section of the fucking level rocks. It absolutely rocks. It's my reaction. It's because it's so fucking loud. You're very welcome. I knew you guys would enjoy it.
Anyway. You have to excuse me a moment because I have to now make sure that I can complete the um, snowmobile section. Maybe when the crash sound effect happens, I should just pretend like I'm having it. There's an earthquake going on and just like rock the chair and everything. I don't know. Anyway, let's get these back out. <clears throat> Okay, now is that... Okay, that works. That'll do. So now that I've got the... Um, that cleared up, I can now use the skidoo properly if I can get it over this... Um, this little jump and the next couple of jumps and... drive it to victory. I'm going to turn my sound down a moment while I do this because the... the... Bloody music was loud, and the crash sound effect combined with the sound of the snow speeder is actually painful. Boop. One more jump. I have to be very precise with this. I think I only made. Did I only make that um, sound effect of the crash? Um, did I make that a hundred point? Yeah, I'm going to have to up the price of that. Woo! Oh yeah. And people say I can't drive. it for now. <clears throat> yeah, unfortunately, I have to keep getting on and off the damn thing, which is a shame, but you do have to explore the level as well as, um... Yes, Brit, very good. Thank you. Hello. Why did I put that effect in? It's the sound of Kieran falling down the stairs. Why did I think that that sound alert was a good fucking idea? I thought, oh, I can get rid of the fail trumpet. It'll because that annoyed the crap out of me. I know. I'll get a side effect. They won't use it too often. <laughs> I was fucking wrong. When I push. <laughs> Just as I turn the volume back up on my fucking headphones, you bastard. You need to do the random sound one. Absolutely not. You get to hit that every time you send a message. Maybe it's... Oh! That's going to scare the shit out of me um, later on. If I fall to my death, that is going to be hilarious to use. Aha, uh -huh. uh -huh. M16 rounds. But yes, guys, welcome to Tibet. Going to try not to crash now. Oh, this is this is where Power is going to say to everybody, guys, get on, get on Scott's stream. Mm. He's got a sound alert that which absolutely deafens him.
Thanks, Para. <laughs> Just landed. Hello, Drone Spencer. Good to see you. Where did I... I didn't save it all that way back. Fuck. I've got to do all that again. What lies at the bottom of the ocean in Twitches? I have no idea, Drone Spencer. Please tell me. Also, Para, yes, appreciate the eat. A nervous wreck. I'm going to be a nervous wreck at the end of this episode with all these freaking crash sound alert redemptions. Mental note. Save it next time. That way backtracking is minimalized. Uh -huh. And dipstickery is, is minimalized. You see, I know how to do Tibetan foothills, and I, w with a margin of error, I'm okay at it. Um, I'm actually okay at a fair bit of this um, section. The only one I'm not 100% good at is Barkang Monastery, because Barkang Monastery is full of a lot of very, very interesting puzzles, and can be quite tough, and I've... And I think there's one... Hydrate, you bastard! Hydrate! Thank you, Para. Yesterday you played Tomb Raider 1 No Loads Challenge. Nice. I hope it went well. Yeah, attempt one finished. Oh, congratulations. Uh -huh. That's one challenge under your belt. Well, another challenge under your belt. I am close to no meds too. Only two medis needed. One for Atlantis and one for Natla. To be fair, Atlantis is a very tough level. And this time, I'm not going to crash. This time I'm not going to crash, and the ch crash channel emote isn't going to startle me. Uh -huh. I, I made the sound alert by falling out of bed in the morning. Now, the game wants me to go over this um, this jump, but it doesn't know that I know, that it knows um, that there is a secret. These poor guys, they all got run over. They were spawned in just to be roadkill. Did none of them have any items? Like, none at all? Okay, this ice bridge is a nice area, though. I love the ice bridge. This is why it's so pretty. You get all these nice ice areas. They're just so pretty. Okay, I have parked this way too close. And if you think this um, snow s snowmobile is cool, wait till you see what the bad guys use. Balloon. There's grenades down there. No, oh, that's death. That's death. That's an emulator's drone or OG software. 
Um, it's probably on this, dude. Oh, God. Well, the Tomb Raider 1. Steam version using the Tomb Raider ATI patch. Ah, nice. Now, I'm not 100% that I'm doing this correctly, but I'm going to check anyway. But... Yeah, it's not open yet. Just speed ran some ramen. Nice, Sonic the Pinkest Man. Anyway, now I've got to climb back up and get to the snowmobile before the snow leopard kills me. The cool thing is, if I get on the snow speeder and it's touching it while well, I get on, it instantly dies. It's like I have a touch of death or something. Welcome to everybody who's joining us. Good to see you. If you want some Tomb Raider remotes and you want to stay up to date on the latest streams and updates and news and stuff, then please um, hit that follow button. If you want to take your support one step further, you can subscribe. Get yourself those remotes only available on my channel. I'm going to save it before I attempt this because every time I attempt to jump at an angle like this, I, I fucking fall. See? <laughs> that was so close. That was so close. I've always wondered what that's this that, that area is for. I'm not sure, but hey oh. Oh yeah, I need the key. I need the key. I need the key to do what I want. This bit's kind of tricky. Also, I hate heights, so this is absolutely fucking terrifying. I will give this one thing. I really like the shadow effects that the uh, game's got in this section of the game. Ow. Mm. Overshot it. She just went crashing down to earth. So how is everybody doing today? I know I've asked that question already to some of you, but to those of you who haven't... Um, when he when I asked, uh -huh. everybody good? Everyone having a good time? <laughs> Why did I expect that? Someone say crash? Yep. Eat the Robocop guns. Good, I did get the draw. I was gonna say, did I get the drawbridge key? I did. Oh look, look 
like where we are. How can we? How convenient. How convenient, eh? Saw the new Ant-Man last night. Oh, was it any good? Is it? Is it as poor as the um, reviewers are saying it is? I mean, I've seen the Rotten Tomatoes score, and they're saying it's worse than Thor: Love and Thunder, which I find hard to believe. It's shite. Oh well. That bad. I hope I can make this jump, otherwise I am literally stuck because I have not got my snowmobile. I made it. Would you care to elaborate in a non-spoilery um, style, dude? Best thing is Kang and even he ain't great. Oh. Okay, in anticipation of what's coming coming soon, I'm getting my old reliables out. Why has this game gone incredibly laggy all of a sudden? See, so yesterday this was working. It's all CGI, bad jokes plonked in and just all over the place. Oh, God. Are there any redeeming qualities besides Kang? That wasn't even the channel reward. That was in the game. I'm glad I didn't have to pay for it. Oh, Jesus. Okay, here we go. I don't like this bit. Because uh -huh. of that fucker. I hate that fucker. He can kill you in seconds. And if he runs you over, he kills you instantly. I don't know. Sorry guys, I died. Hmm. Uh -huh. I really fucking hate fighting these guys. Would you guys be... Okay, I'll try with the M16. If I can't kill him this time, I am literally I am literally running. I'm not even gonna bother trying to kill him. Uh-huh. Because fuck this guy. <sighs> yeah. I really don't like this guy. Wait, what am I doing? I just need to make good my escape. Just need to make good my escape. So if I get my snowbobby already, I can out I can out drive I can out drive him. Who stole the FPS on the stream? Oh, is it that bad? Internet provider. Yeah, garbage. I apologize about that, guys. Um, is it really that bad? You see, yesterday this worked really well. So I don't know. Uh-huh. 
bolt and legging it. Into the crash remote here. That was almost a perfect getaway then. That was almost a perfect one. And now I forgot the fucking key. Yeah, the snowmobile guys, I'm not too keen on because they're bullshit. They can kill you way too easy. Yeah, I know I I know I um I know I ran away from him then guys and yeah, apologies but yeah. It, how's the everybody let me know, how's the lag doing now? Is it okay? Is it still pretty bad or I I would literally message somebody and find out, but at the moment my phone is away from me and on charge, so I can't do it. Oh wait, no it isn't. It's in my pocket. I didn't put it on charge. I'm alive. I hate this jump. I hate this jump. Seems okay, seems okay. Good to know. It seems to go a bit stuttery when I do that. Anyway. Wish me luck. Wish me luck, because I could crash. And I fucking did. For fuck's sake, Scott. You didn't even go straight then. Can somebody please... Can somebody please tell me how to do this jump first time? Because I can never get this jump. No matter what I try, this jump always fucks me over. That worked. There's a cheat. There's a. I am jumping to the mid of these two. Oh shit! Okay. So you jump. So jumping through the middle seems like a good option. Yeah. Noted for future reference. Okay, oh, I can't, oh yeah, I can't get the snowmobile back up now. Sorry, trusty snowmobile, you're gonna have to stay there. And believe it or not, guys, we are actually halfway through this first level ish. How many grenades have I got out of sheer curiosity? 50? What are the slopes to the middle? Yeah. Yep. 
I'm going to remember that from now on, because I am very sick and tired of fucking that jump up. Oh, look, a med kit. Anybody think that you could see through the building? Uzi clips. Is that a, uh -huh. is that a hint? It could be a hint. It's definitely a hint. Uh -huh. I know what's coming. But considering as well, I haven't used the grenade launcher yet. I'm going to use the grenade launcher because the amount of... This this is where this game becomes a bit unfair because it throws about four, four guys with guns at you. And they can kill you in seconds. Watch. Oh, three. See what I mean? That's the grenade launcher. And the grenade launcher didn't work. Also, that sound effect for the um, the grenade launcher, uh -huh. I swear that's taken straight from Terminator 2. Go and watch um, go and watch a clip on YouTube, Terminator 2, the bit where Arnold Schwarzenegger uh -huh. um, load any scene where Arnie loads the single shot grenade launcher. That is the sound effect. And also the um, firing sound when he fires the multi-chamber grenade launcher. Okay. Remember my my remember my favorites the um the snowplow men. Yeah. M16, your time is now, my friend. Safety. So it's the only way I can guarantee that I'll kill those things is to stand on there. But yeah, the cool thing is once they die, you get to use this. Which is cool, but it doesn't have a boost button. So, it doesn't drive as fast. But it has Uzis on it. <laughs> it's just a shame that I don't fucking remember how to get over this bloody bit now. Sounds like that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Last secret of the level. This game just gives you shit tons of Uzi ammo. Just gives you so much. Okay, save the game, save the game. Now I can take the snowmobile, or I can do what I'm going to do and run up there. I'm also on edge because none of you have used that crash sound effect. 
I don't trust you guys. Also, I'm going to show you guys a way to get down to the exit of this level at the end in a matter of seconds. Without needing to do all that climbing. Right, save it because this is going to be bad. Get wrecked. But we shall be saying farewell to the Tibetan foothills soon. We are almost at the next bit. Oh god, can't get that one. That snowplow is stuck forever. This one, however, isn't. Now, a lot of you are going to think, this guy's mad, he's crazy. What's the point in this? But, trust me, if you're somebody who just likes to see what they could achieve in this game, I think you'll really like this. Okay, now you see this down here. The f Who the fuck is shooting me? What a prick. Oh, great. He can hit me. I haven't got the rings. What a jerk. Anyway, as I was trying to tell you guys, you can't get the snowmobile in here, right? There's just no way you can get the snowmobile in here, right? Well, wrong. Because I just realized I can push that in. Now, I'm going to attempt this. There is a possibility that you guys will just use the crash emote and I will die, which I probably will. But two times out of ten, if you ever want to just skip all this for this bloody climbing, just get this all the way back and do this. You can drive it straight off the edge and land right in here and crash a snow speeder without dying. So that's the quick method of doing it. <laughs> and I am so proud that I, I discovered that myself for myself. Now I'm going to do it the boring way or the way you're supposed to do it. Or at least I'm going to try to. Because I can never remember how to get down here properly. All I know is it's painful. Doesn't even have any bloody items for me. Cheeky bastard.
I don't know how I'm supposed to get there, over there. So yeah, if you guys want to um, use the quick method, you can drive down with the snowmobile, or you can do it the way they want you to, which is this way. I just think that that other way is a nice little speedrunner's tip. Okay, please don't hurt me. Nice. I love the water effects that this upgrade update gives you. Okay, guys. And that is the end of the Tibetan Foothills level, which... It's taking me about 45 minutes, give or take, but... You know. Not too bad. This is the crowning achievement of Barkhang while it... About four med kits used, all the secrets, and it took me 40 minutes. This level's the crowning achievement of um, Tibet. It's what I like to think of as the warm up for the Temple of Jean. But you also get these guys with Uzis who are a nightmare, and the monks. So I'm just going to sit back and let the monks do some of the work. Because the more they do, the more bullets I save. But I think that guy with the Uzi is going to kill him. Go on, monk. Go on. They just run at them with spears and just beat the shit out of them. I think they've killed one of the monks. Okay, one's dead. And he's dead. So yeah, in this level, as long as I don't shoot the monks, um, they won't kill me. Uh -huh. But if I do shoot the monks, every monk uh -huh. in the level it becomes your enemy. So you have both the um, the Fiamanera cultists and the monks to deal with. So yeah. I also remember this level being quite big. It's a monastery, it's bound to be big. Come on, crow. But yes, guys, welcome to the Barkang Monastery. I'm going to beat you to death with a bat. I'm going to beat you to death with a bat. I do love to beat you to death with a bat. I couldn't. I was trying to decide which channel alert I'd sacrifice for um for my crash sound, and I was like, I can't get rid of that one. Because I'm, I'm too fond of it. But yes, in this one, we have to find our way to the room that the Seraph has to be placed in. To do that, we need to get some prayer wheels. A little bit of cool trivia. The prayer wheels are mentioned in Tomb Raider, the, f the first Tomb Raider movie. And um, it's basically that that film making a reference to Tomb Raider 2 which is pretty neat because she goes you stole my prayer wheels I have to be so careful I don't shoot one of the monks if I shoot one of the monks this level is basically th twice as hard and there are going to be a little few occasions where it's going to be nigh on impossible to hit, not hit the one if I get involved in fights. But hey ho, I shall persevere. To those of you watching, thank you very much for joining us. Um, hope you're having a good time. Hope you're enjoying the stream and the episode. I know it's a little bit um, choppy at the moment. I don't know why, because it was working perfectly yesterday, but... It can't be helped. Like I say, every time I play one of these games, it's a learning curve for streaming. Um, but it should be fine. Hello, monk. I'm gonna get my autumn. I'm gonna get my Robocop pistols out. Yep.
going to say, I didn't shoot you. And also, uh-huh. I agree. If any of you watch a um, streamer slash YouTuber called Steve uh-huh. War, um, who plays, who has played these games and, you know, he's pretty damn good. And he's done these, like, retrospectives on them and everything. Um, I agree with him on one thing. Why the f- Oh. Why do these monks, when they're making noises, sound like pigeons or seagulls? I think I'll come back I'll come back later and let those guys deal with him. I got stuff to do and this level's big enough. I'm not kidding. There is one point in this level that I think if the backflip glitch keeps happening, um I might be fucked. Like I might be completely fucked. Anyway guys, welcome to the main hall of the monastery. Which I think looks amazing, but also, holy shit, I hate heights. The amount of times I've accidentally done a jump and jumped over the fence. Hello, monk. Uh-huh. Also, this might be one of the few levels where I don't know where all the secrets are. I think it might be the only level where I'm like, where are all the secrets? Anyway, we have to start up here first. Nope. Boulders are back, ladies and gentlemen. The boulders are back. The boulders are back in town. Flares, that's a trap. Uh-huh. I knew it was a trap. Okay, I don't think I go that way yet. This is definitely a trap. This bit is basically like a giant vacuum. Because that, that sucks you in. And what you have to do is basically swim like a madman and not fall into the middle. Also, Tomb Raider 1 style water. Geronimo! No, 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 no. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it, Lara, come on, swim. Swim, Lara, swim. <sighs> Made it. Yeah, it's a little bit uh, precarious, that bit. Oh, God. I hate heights. Get that crash emote ready. Ooh. Ooh, creepy music. Oh. Hello, killer doors. A lovely and hospitable thing. Okay, Drone Spencer, appreciate the lurk. Thank you very much. Appreciate you turning back up, dude. Thank you for stopping by again. And thank you for the follow the other day. I did, I said it, but um, just making sure I reiterated it just in case. You working through all the Tomb Raider games in order? Um, I am as long as you guys want me to do them in order. If you guys want me to jump around the series a bit, I can, because Tomb Raider 3 is next, and Tomb Raider 3 is hard as balls, and I'm not very good at it. <laughs> well, I just find Tomb Raider 3 incredibly difficult, so that includes the new 3. I haven't decided on the new 3. I've done Tomb Raider, the, the first one of that reboot. And I finished Rise of the Tomb Raider in my own time. I finished it about last week. Oh, shit, we shot. Um, 
but uh -huh. I haven't played Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and I don't think I want my first experiences of those games to be on stream. I w think I want to play them on stream once I have an idea of what I'm doing, especially Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I did enjoy Rise, though. Rise was, once I got going, it was, oh shit. It's quite fun. See what I mean about those Uzi guys? You can shred your health in seconds. As I pick this up, bet you. Uh -huh. But yeah, Parrot. The um, like I say, I may do, I may do the new three. I've done the Legend series, so we've got the classic series to do, and then the that the second reboot series. I just haven't decided if I'm doing it yet. I will decide though. I mean, if you guys want to see that, then by all means, but um, it will mean I will have to replay through Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider again, and I have played through Tomb Raider, the first of them, the first, Tomb, Tomb Raider 2013, whatever it was called, um, already, so. It would mean doing that again. But as for the classics, definitely. Even Angel of Darkness, for those of you who are thinking, will he actually do that? I've said I will. I want to try and do it in a fresh perspective. But also, I'm on Tomb Raider 2. That's Tomb Raider 6. I've got three more games before I even have to think about it. And one of them's going to take me forever to do. And the other is Tomb Raider 3. So, Tomb Raider 3, I find hard as balls. It is the hardest Tomb Raider I've ever played. Tomb Raider 4, some of the puzzle solutions are so convoluted, I don't know how anybody does that game without a fucking guide. Tomb Raider 5 is a piece of piss, and um, Angel of Darkness is Angel of Darkness. So, yeah. Like I say, after this game, I've managed to do this game in, this is the third episode so far. Um, and it'll probably take three maybe four episodes to do this one. Uh -huh. Tomb Raider 3 is going to take a lot longer because I'm going to die so much more and the levels are so much bigger. So, I beg your patience with Tomb Raider 3. As I will, I will die a lot. I will die a lot. <clears throat> I don't know why. Some people say that this game is harder. But I find Tomb Raider... This is hard because of the gun enemies. I find Tomb Raider 3 so much harder. I thought that a bunch of guys popped up when I... There they are. Get him! Get him! Here's your money on, guys. <clears throat> Monks or the guy with the Uzi? Ugh, that's gotten a little bit of fat. I may have to... I may have to get involved. I may have to get involved. Okay, they killed one, but they killed one of them. Shit. There's another one fighting in there. Okay. I'm sorry, monks. Two of your brothers have died. But they killed uh -huh. two people with them. This is a good thing. I can save so much ammo just by getting the monks to do the fighting. Okay, now I need to go one of two ways. I need to... Yeah, I need to go this way. I'm trying to remember which order I need to do this level in. Um... I'm going to save it because I think this one's full of traps. 
Because this level, like I say, it's big. It's big. Got the key. It does look pretty cool. I love the look of this level though. Side of there. Game trip me with a dead end. Oh, oh God. I so nearly ended up dead then. Focus, focus, focus. Like I say, this is why I've been saving up most of my medkits for most of the game, because towards this stage of the game, you're going to be getting hurt a lot. Okay, so I got a key for the strong room. I cannot remember which one the strong room is. Do you know I want to get on this statue to grab a secret though? Okay, it's not under here. You see, this is why I like this is this is a first for me during this run through, because this has been like the first level where I haven't been a hundred percent prepared for it, because, well, I don't know everything that's going to happen. I did know that this secret uh -huh. was here. And I think there's another one of it further on. <laughs> this bit confuses the hell out of me because I know there's a ton of, um, there's a ton of blocks. And I'm not sure how to move them all. The monks just walk through them, you know, because they're like magic, but... I feel like I've done this wrong. And I think I might be about to lock myself in this room. All for an item. So just bear with me, guys. It's not an easy puzzle. It's not an easy puzzle. Although, I think I've got it. Jove, I think I've got it. If this turns out to be for just some like fucking harpoons, I'm gonna be so pissed off. I will be so pissed off. This better be like a mission critical item or something like that. Oh shit. I could probably pull that block out there, to be fair. Right. Yes, I know I've sealed myself in, but bear with me. Watch. I swear to God, if this is fucking hard. 
harpoons. If this is fucking harpoons, I'm going to be so fucking pissed off. Guys, it's for fucking harpoons. Uh -huh. <laughs> Fuck's sake, I'm not even using the harpoons. Smash shit up. Thank you, parrot. Right. Please be full of water. Yes, you are. If you're wondering why I'm doing this, it is because there is a secret here that you can only get while this pool is full of water. Now I'm just wondering where the last secret is. I have a bad feeling I know where. I think it's in the one spot in this entire level that I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do. Because of that little glitch where I can't um, backflip. Wait a minute. Yeah, I need to get in there. Okay. Oh, there's the lever. There's the lever. Okie dokie 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 dokie. Okie dokie 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 o coke Okay, now we'll go this way I told you this level was big But it's also really fun Trap door Yeah, I knew that was a trapdoor. And now we're one of the most devious traps in this fucking game. Basically, window, right? No way out. Just a window. And about five different people. Die! These monks are very, very pissed off. I'm going to send in the cavalry. Go get him. Go get him. Shut the door so that the bad guys can't get out here. And I'm going to climb and loot the, um, the watchtower. For another prayer wheel. Basically, I think I, I need either four prayer wheels or six prayer wheels. I can't remember. Well, basically, you need the prayer wheels to get into the chamber for the seraph, and then you need the seraph to get into the catacombs. And you need to get into the catacombs to get the tellion, and the tellion is to open the door to get to the Temple of Zion. The Temple of Zion, which is going to need its own fucking episode, probably. <clears throat> Literally, you, you, you guys wait for the Temple of Zion. It's going to be so fun, in inverted commas. To be fair, it's probably the finest example of Tomb Raider, Tomb Raiding in this game. Possibly the best level in the entire series, for me. Even though it's also probably one of the hardest. I'm just gonna pop a flat. Pop a flare. Goodness, I could jump backwards, otherwise that would have been suicide. Okay, now hopefully by the time I get down there, uh -huh. they will have killed all of the troopers, or the troopers will have killed them, but they will have worn them down. Oh, this might hit. Okay, that one did it. Okay, and now I've caught up with my own personal playthrough. Let me just save the game. Get out some big guns. Because I've got so much Uzi ammo, why the fuck not? Ok, 
Okay, there was four of uh -huh. them. And the monks killed none of them. Uh -huh. What the fuck were those monks doing? Were they sleeping on the fucking job? Uh -huh. I would just have to oozy the shit out of them. What the hell? I better, fi I better find the bodies of three dead monks up here. I see the bodies of two dead monks. Okay, yeah, they killed them all. Okay. Now, I don't know whether this is a trap or this is a way I need to go. Either way, I don't really want to... That's, that's, that's nothing. Yeah, that's nothing. Let's, let's, let's not do that. And also, I won't jump backwards because I will die. Roll and run and jump. Well, guys, my Uzi's just got a good workout. Ah, Christ, I've never seen so many of the monks die in this level. Is it because I'm here? Are they suffering from streamer's curse? Ready for the worst, guys. Uh -huh. Yeah, that monk took his time, you bastard. Uh -huh. Okay. Right, guys, this bit. This bit might take me a while, because um, A, it's tricky to time, and B, I can't jump with the ceiling. trap myself okay one more one more one more one more one more no I just loaded the fucking game instead of I loaded the game instead of saving. Shit. Shit, shit, shit balls. This is, like I say, this is trial and error. A lot of trial and error. Mostly error. I could have been dead. I could have died. I saved it this time. Right, I need that to... mental note don't approach those doors diagonally yeah I've noticed that it lags a lot when I am um, saving it
Así que. I made it guys, I made it! Hope you're enjoying the stream, those of you watching, thank you so much everybody who is watching currently, appreciate you all being here. If you like me seeing not um, already, please consider hitting that follow button, so that you'll be able to stay up to date with when I'm next streaming, and when I'm streaming, and you'll get updates, and if you want to subscribe, and take your support that one step further, you'll get yourself a bunch of remotes, including a Tomb Raider remote, um, that you can use in the chat, and some animated emotes and stuff from various other games. Um, but welcome to the Lodinson family, or the Lodinson clan, whatever you want to call us. Appreciate you all being here. Back into the water. Okay, there we go. I'm Scotty Lodinson. Appreciate you all being here. Who is here? I've got Para, I've got Kiki, have I got Brit? Um, I've got... And um, I've got Sadik the Pingless Man, possibly, and we have Drone Spencer, who is currently on Lurk, I believe. Okay, I have two keys, and I have no fucking clue where they go. And a small med kit, which I am definitely going to use. Uh -huh. I end up using a lot of med kits in this one. Like I say, this level, this level isn't, this level isn't easy. It is actually quite fucking hard. You match that, so please work. I don't know which way I'm supposed to go first, so I'm just trying to use the keys. Hmm. Now, I could be going in here at completely the wrong time, so just bear with me while I scoop out the area. No. No. Okay. This is not the strong room then. Ouch. So where the frick is the strong room then? I don't know where the strong room is. Okay, I'm taking this way. We'll go this way. Oh, yeah, I know where this is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, that's a con that's convenient, isn't it? That's very convenient. Oh, uh, one of the monks just dropped dead instantly. Come on, monk. I believe in you. Come on. Come on, monks. Come on, monks. They're gonna end up dead. They're gonna die. Come on, monks. Come on. Yes. I think they are the only two monks to survive so far. I helped them out a bit. Got to help out a bit more. I think I'm going to break out the Uzis. This is what I like about this level. You've got allies. You get to explore a huge, vast monastery. And it's really nice. Like, you get these outside areas. You get the inside areas. You get devious traps, but also not too devious. They're all really clever. And who doesn't love outdoor environments that are this bright and pretty? Even if they are reusing the St. Francis Folly rocky wall textures. Just with a frost glaze over them. Okay, I 
think it's this way. So, for those of you who've played Tomb Raider 2 before, what's your favourite level? Um, I asked this question of some people the other day. Um, I don't think everybody was here to answer. Um, what's everybody's favourite level or levels? I'm quite enjoying this one, to be fair, but that's because at the moment it's not being a dick to me. Oh god, whoa. Oh god. Why did they have to get one of these guys? Uh. Joke's on you, I got two Uzi, bitch. Uh -huh. You brought one Uzi, I brought two. Plus I saved the fucking ammo in him. Wait, you were up here and you let him just walk past. What the fuck are you guys doing? You guys are just literally dropping dead on the job. I could happily kill him if he was on the job. Okay, game. Here's a question. Is this the fucking strong room? Oh, shit. There we go. So, what's everybody up to today? Para, you up to much? Are you streaming today? Um, I can't remember the name of that game you were playing last night, but are you streaming any more of that? Is anybody else planning on streaming today? Or is it just, you know, Sunday? Nice chill out day for everyone. Oh, third prayer wheel. Woo! Uh -huh. That's that. Oh, you still haven't used the strong room key. Doop, doop. Oh, God. Don't worry, monk. Don't worry, monk. I'll step in if this guy gets. Oh, fucking hell. Literally, the monks uh -huh. at the moment are shit. They're not holding their own at all. They're supposed to be able to hold their own against those guys. I don't know. No. I am not dropping down there. Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no, no, no. Hmm, oh. slope. Well, you got me down quicker. <laughs> okay, now I'm here. I am a little bit of a loss of where to go next. Say um, only a little bit of a loss. Although there is this bit over here, isn't there? Oh, you're all congregating here now. Hmm. I hope this is the right way. I hope this is the right way. Oh yeah, she doesn't make the grunting noise when those guys are nearby because it's um because there's too many sounds playing. I can still hear the fire. So what the fuck? Am I meant to be over here yet? This is literally the only other place I can think of. Um, although I have just thought of another, which I think may be the right place to go. Um, so if this doesn't work out, then there we go. Okay, I do 
don't need to go there. Oh good, your other hand isn't burning. No. No. I clearly do not have the item I require for this section. Why not to save me having to climb all the way fucking... Actually, no, because otherwise I am going to have to climb all the way down anyway. It doesn't matter. Yep. Let's just climb down. Let's just climb down. It's easier. It's safer. It's safer. Let's just go down here and just, you know, take a bit of damage. Instead of a loss. I know I just fell a bit further, but at least I landed on a slope. It doesn't matter. Jump over the fence. Don't just jump over the fence. Or do. She did, but she still managed to bash her knees. I don't get why that's happening, and I don't know why I'm talking like that. I apologize. Welcome to those who are just joining. Yes, I haven't got a sore throat. I was just, in fact, pissing around with a stupid voice. Is this the strong room? I think it is. If this is... The strong room with a door made out of about f six planks of wood. Aha. Uh -huh. And it has a key, which I reckon is for the room that's next door. And I've just walked into that fucking chandelier with that lantern. It's been awfully quiet, you guys. Have you guys had your fill of the, um, the crash sound effect? If you have, thank God. Mind you, to be fair, I haven't had... I haven't fallen to my death recently, so... Oh, good sugar cup of tea. Oh yeah, this is the roof, isn't it? Which can be both fun and annoying. Sometimes both, especially if you do that. Oh god, and it's also chuggy as hell. I apologise if it's laggy, guys. It is literally how it is on the, um... On my screen. There's a lot going on. Jump. 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 Sh shit, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. <sighs> Could have been dead. I could have died. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Now I'm dead. I just, I just shot the fucking monks. That was the best thing that could have happened, really, because I shot the monks. I would have been dead. I would have been dead. I could have died. Wow, I love how my face froze then with my mouth wide open. Very attractive. Okay, let's do that again, but, um, less shitty. And I will save it again now, just so that I don't have to do that again. That's what I want to see, monks. Uh -huh. Now, do I want to jump in here, or do I want to save it first? 
because I could climb down there, find it's the wrong way, and just totally fuck myself over. Totally fuck myself over. Also, I'm in this area, I might as well just explore. Ooh, M16 ammo! Uh -huh. M16 ammo, sweet! Oh, god, no. Ooh, that's where we've been already. Holy shit. Oops. About my heart going to my throat then. Shit, a brick. Okay, I don't think I have what I need to do. I don't, because I need need it for there as well. So I have to go down there. Okay, sorry windows of this monastery, but... There's two of them. The Doom Slayer. The Doom Slayer. Thank you, Kiki. Appreciate it. Hope you're good. Everybody uh -huh. watching, make sure you give Kiki two five nights a, a, a follow and a subscribe. And check out his channel and stuff. He has regular uploads to YouTube. And he also does occasionally do a stream on Twitch. Um, if you want to check him out, definitely worth your time. Ah, I see. Very clever. I was going to say, there's a portion of this level we haven't done yet. Which I'm waiting for. I'm glad that that Doom Slayer one works. I like it. Nope, no, no, not yet. We don't need the Seraph yet. We need this. Ooh, that, that's a sound from Tomb Raider one. Neat. Has this got a prayer wheel in it? Has this got a prayer wheel in it? I also now know where I need to put that other trinket that I just picked up. That gemstone. It's at the top of the statue, so guess where we're going next? Prayer wheel! Aha! Uh -huh. Any chance of a prayer? You haven't got one, mate. Okay, I got four. I got four prayer wheels. Is that all of them? It better fucking be. Because if there's any more, I swear to fuck. Hmm, now, I don't trust this trap. I've switched it off, but I don't trust it. I don't know whether it's, um... Just me, but I always think it's going to come back on. Even though it won't. I feel like it's going to. And back down we go. Nope. We are getting close to the end of this level now, guys. I know we've been in this one a while, and I apologize, but like I said, this level is basically the run-up to Temple of Zion, or Temple of Jean, whichever you want to call it. And um, the Temple of Jean makes this look short. It is that big. And it is that tough. The Temple of Jean, if you can get through it without dying, or without using a med kit, or without having to... Without taking a long time, I respect you. Because it is such a big fucking level. And it is a really tough one. I just thought, I have a sidestep button and I haven't been using it. I, I made the analog stick, the sidestep buttons, the right analog stick so I could do sidesteps. I haven't been doing it. Because I use a dipstick. Okay. Now this is gonna, oh this is gonna lower the trap door at the bottom of the um, statue, isn't it? Yep.
my health like? I won't die, but ouch. We're getting somewhere, even though we've basically purged most of the population of this monastery. I know I haven't got one of the secrets yet. Why is there a random dark tile? Ooh. Oh yeah, I get it. Hold the link. I just bashed the microphone. Ouch. This is actually pretty neat, this bit. You see this uh, waterfall here that's running through? Um, well... Bye bye waterfall in a minute. I can actually get that block to fucking move. I can actually get it to move. And push. That's a neat way of blocking it. And now I'm going to drop down the safe way. There you go. So basically, yeah, we've drained that pool, and what you do is you go straight over here. And if you um, didn't get that secret that was under the water before, tough shit. You can't get it now. Another brown wheel. Okay, that's got to be all of them. Uh -huh. That's got to be all of them. If it isn't, I'm going to be so pissed off. How many secrets have I actually got now? Oh, I got them all. Good. Well done, me. I was thinking I haven't gone. I'm in FN if you're up for it after the stream. I may be, dude, yes. Um, I plan on doing another two levels, dude, um, at least, to get through the Tibet section. But I will certainly join you. Um, I'm guessing that you're currently lurking, then, if you're playing Fortnite? It has been a while since I played some Fortnite, so I really should. Yep, cool. Coolio. Okay, and now that we've done that, I can now go to the exit of this level. Because this level's been long enough. I will be surprised if this hasn't taken me an hour. If I don't have all the prayer wheels, I swear to shit. If I don't have them all, I'm going to go ballistic. How many have I got? I've got five prayer wheels. If there were six, I want to know where the fucking sixth one is. No. no. Just beat Go Run Mines. Well done, dude. I love that people still play and appreciate these games. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear that, Genial. Um, B86. I love these games. I was basically... I w I'm a child of the 90s. I'm 30 now. Um, I was basically born and raised on these games. So I go back and play them every now and again. And I have now gone to the effort of patching them and everything. Um, so that I can play them on PC and experience them. And I can share them with you guys. Anyway, guys, here we are. Welcome to the Seraph Chamber. Your 36 are the same. Oh, nice. 90s people. And finally, guys, after carrying it around for two levels, insert the Seraph. And we are now into the next stage of our quest and heading into the catacombs of Tellian. Oh, it took me 50 minutes. That's not too bad. And I got all the secret. Oh, you're an 80s baby. Cool. Anyway, save the game. Welcome to the Catacombs of Teleon. This is where this starts to get a bit creepy. I find this level a bit creepy. And I find the level after it a bit creepy. And it's also where... It's also where I'm going to be using these religiously. Although I think this is the last level where you have to deal with um, the guys with guns. But for those of you who remember Tomb Raider Legend and Child Lock. Okay. 
and Lara's childhood drawings. Yep. Yet he only looked fierce. Uh -huh. They probably don't like being so cold all the time. Child Lara is a dumbass because Yeti are fierce, Yeti are dangerous, Yeti are fucking lethal. I only just played um, these levels for the first time too scared as a kid. Oh, okay. I'm I'm the same as that um, Jenny all but with uh, Tomb Raider 3. I find Tomb Raider 3 terrifying. Um, but I'm going to play it all the way through after this one unless I get told to play a different Tomb Raider game um, and see how I do oh shit oh shit <sighs> god I killed that quick okay follow me oh Jenny thank you for the follow I haven't played all of Tomb Raider 3 yet I have played it all, but I find Tomb Raider 3 the hardest Tomb Raider of all time. I think it's the hardest one, like, flat out. There isn't, um, there isn't a middle ground. It's either, it's either, um, ch challenging or it's rock solid. I mean, it's a good game. I just find it evil. I just think it's evil. And, um, it actually scares the crap out of me because it deals with, like, um, evolution and body dysmorphia because of the like mutants and stuff and um, so it's a bit spooky plus the atmosphere is really freaky that was my issue I found it too hard my husband got it for me recently but I'm not sure I can do it um, don't feel any shame in this right genial but my advice to you your best friend track it down don't feel ashamed about using a guide, especially for Tomb Raider 3. Because even I cannot do Tomb Raider 3 without reading that a couple of times. So, and Tomb Raider 4, exactly the same story. Yes, I had them as a kid. I have them all, except the first one. But to be fair, I, I, I don't need it for the first one. Yeah. I got them, I got this guide for Tomb Raider 2 for 99p. Automatic pistol fiend. Welcome to the welcome to the first major area of the catacombs of talent. Still couldn't do it even with the guides. Oh good god. That's unfortunate. I use Stella's website for my replay of one and two. You see, with one and two, I don't really need um guides, but that's just because I've played them so much. Um, also, Genial, if you, since you followed, oh god, um, if you're interested, I have just replayed Tomb Raider 1, um, if you want to check it out. Eat my Uzis! I didn't play it for so many years, I forgot so much. Uh -huh. Yes, I'll check it out. Cool. Appreciate it, and I appreciate the fact that you dropped a follow. Uh -huh. I also, um, for people who follow, if you if you do follow, those of you if you haven't already, um, if you do follow, you could for celebration of playing Tomb Raider two, you will get yourself the Fiaminera um, symbol as an emote, the symbol of the cult in this game. No, I'm not crazy. That was a planned idea. I expected a, I expected a snow leopard. Uzis, I love you. I will always love my Uzis. They keep me safe. Anyway, guys, the mission for this... Um, section of the game is to get into the ice palace which is that ominous glowing thing there which looks fucking awesome I'm, I'm not gonna lie that looks awesome with the flashing lights so we've got to make our way through these catacombs to get to the ice palace all this just to get an item called the Tullian um, which is the key to open the door 
to um, the temple of Jean or Zion. Sorry, I couldn't. I couldn't words. Very, I can't word very good, and obviously I can't clearly jump in the right place. Um, Actually amazed that that worked. Huh, holy shit. Um, well, I feel like I shouldn't have done that. Where's the switch? I can't remember. Ooh, that old fashioned isolation background music. You gotta love it. I know I've gotta get that mask. I love how that crumbly floor doesn't, um, it doesn't, um, make a noise when it falls. Okay, jump back. Oh, that explains it. There's the switch. You'd think you'd just be able to dive into that pool of water, but no. Because this game, like I say, doesn't have many evil moments, except when it puts you under the water, 40 fathoms under the ocean for an entire section, but when it does have evil moments, it has evil moments. Oh yeah, speaking of evil moments. <laughs> this entire section is an evil moment. It's actually where this game, I'd say, no. starts to get a bit difficult. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Dodged. And let's get the old pistoles out. Okay. I don't like that those boulders haven't engaged. I actually thought I was going to die then. I actually thought I was going to die. Thought it was all over. It wasn't. Okay, right. I love how... There is a weird thing that happens in this section, though. In this level, and all the other levels, you are up against snow leopards, right? And then you play the next level... And they swap the snow leopards for snow tigers. Like white tigers. It's... It's weird. I mean, I don't mind it, but it is just odd. Oh, shh. So nearly dead. Yeah. I'm gonna break out the uh, Robocop pistols again. Oh, fuck. Yeah, Robocop pistols. Robocop pistols for the win. I 
was half expecting um, goons, hired goons. Okay, those uh, water texture things are starting to give me the heebie-jeebies now. Oh, there we go. There's the hired goons. Goons, hired goons, hired goons. Oh, thank you everybody who's currently watching. Thank you so much. It really means a lot that you're all oh. I have just healed, thank you, sir. Gonna break out the old oozies. The oozy floozies. I died of too much lead in my body. There we go. Yeah, see what I see what I mean though? I've literally nearly gone to critical health again. And I've barely started. Also, for anybody who finds uh, the Yetis frightening, you're not gonna like this next room. I definitely didn't like this next room when I was a kid. But to be fair, the last act of the game is actually very creepy as well. The last three, well, the last three levels that aren't Laura's home. Uh -huh. um, you'll see what I mean. to bed and mask in. I wonder if this room is going to be as dark as it is in the PlayStation version, because in the PlayStation version I can't see shit in this room. <sighs> Either way, get the old M16 out. I rarely use the M16, so I'm going to use it glutton. Oh god, I can't see a fucking thing. That's the Yetis. Not scary at all. Also, Para, if you're watching, buddy, the level after this one will be the last one I'll do, and then I can join you on um, some Fortnite. Okay. Come on. Come on, Yetis. I'm right here. Thud, 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 thud. I hate him. Oh, they... I especially hate them when they don't cooperate. You're really gonna make me go out, go come down to you, aren't you? Oh no, there we go, we got one. I should be like, guys, yeah, this might go badly. Oh, he was stuck. Oh, they're both stuck. You poor yet. Oh, the fenced in. Wait, I just ran through a fence. Uh -huh. 
That's a glitch, you know. Anyway, guys, that's the Yetis. I was like, why aren't they, why aren't they coming to get me? There's a big, wide open gap in the cage right fucking here, and they're just not going through. What are they doing? Yeah, no wonder you've got that pain expression. Oh, there's two of them. Uh huh. So there's two of them here stuck. No wonder you've got that pain expression on your faces. You're pained. You're pained because you just can't do the simplest of things. Okay, and now for a pretty neat puzzle. I find this. Yeah, this one's pretty cool. What you basically have to do is you have to. You have to block the gates with this block. Block with a block. Um, and it stops these bridges from dropping down as well. God, I've nearly done two hours. Is that all it's taken me to get through this section? It, well, I haven't got through it yet, so I'm still in it, but you know what I mean. Okay, pull this lever. We'll push this in. And that basically, for some reason, jams all three. All four, even. Which is excellent news. Do that, and now the assembled hordes of um, gun toting enemies are coming out. a lot of them. Uh -huh. There were so many. Oh, hello to everybody who's joining us. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Sit back, grab yourself a drink, relax, enjoy a trip back into 1990, 1997 this was. Um, if you want. I'm Scotty Lonison. And if you love to read it, you're in the right place. nothing there. Now, I could use that slide, but I'm actually just going to do a jump. Because it's more reliable. I can make it even with the... Um, even with the game deciding to crap out on me in terms of fr like fr well frames it's if it seems like it's a bit ch clunky on the actual stream that's just how it is on the pc so it's not lag and everything it's literally just the game she's an old deer this computer Whee! oh god eels why are there fucking eels? Why is that? Why is there so much choppiness? Ooh, get on the land. Calm yourself down, game. Stabilize. Must be a lot going on in this bit. I told you we weren't done with the eels. Struggling. Nice try, ice spikes. If 
I remember correctly, there's a secret up here. I'm going to save it, guys, just in case this um, lag doesn't fix itself. Because if we, if it doesn't, we may have to do the Ice Palace in the next episode, which would not be ideal, because... Well, I like to complete a section um, per episode with this game anyway. Um, but also, Temple of Jean and the other levels are going to be quite the beast to do, so... Grab the secret. Uh -huh. One more left, I think. In this area. Drop, 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 drop. I think it's all the water and everything else. I think that's what's taking up the processing power. Because that is just chugging along. It still works, but yeah. Because as soon as I get out of the uh, water, it calms down. So hopefully when I'm out of this section, it'll be alright. Hopefully. He says smiling optimistically. Optimism? Me? How dare you, sir. Please don't kill me. It did not kill me. Good. Anyway. All this, guys, is literally just to get into the Ice Palace. is actually the most one of the most devious bits of the game that you've just seen there ain't even kidding I find that bit very very devious Ooh, yeah it, wow it is really struggling now come on game hold it together Take a minute, I believe in you. I believe in you, game. You just need to run like you are now. It just needs to chill its shit and just get on with it. To be fair, I could. Let me just give you, give you a moment, guys. Let me just see if um, disabling the preview actually does it any favours. Not really. In case you don't know, I don't like this bit very much. Because it's actually a bastard. Because it delights in... Um, Running you over. Okay, that's one set of boulders down. I have to do this forensically. Can you, Snow Leopards, politely come into range of my automatics? That's perfect. Just give me a moment, guys. Excellent. Oh god, there's a third one. I didn't know there was a third one. F 
book. Thank goodness for that. Uh -huh. So I stepped. It is uh -huh. working a little bit smoother now that I've turned the preview off, to be fair. So if you guys who delight in using the sound alerts and want to use them, feel free because I won't be able to see them coming now. Because um, I have a bunch of sound alerts, including a jump scare sound alert from. Oh! Excuse me, that was a jump scare in itself. Um, including one straight from Tomb Raider 2, which is the sound of rubble crashing into the ground. Because it scared the crap out of me yesterday. Okay, this one's a bit awkward. I think this one is to get this secret. You you basically have to um, oh wait no you don't. To do this bit, you basically have to run a go you have to run through. But um, it's timed. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna get the secret first, and then we'll be on to the ice palace. Good old ice palace. Uh -huh. Ooh, a bunch of grenades and some M16 ammo. Game you shouldn't have. Right, so what you do here... It's very technical, this. It's not very technical, it's pretty easy. It's just literally start running, jump at the right time, jump over the spikes, succeed. There we go, made it. And drop down here, and we're at the exit of the Catacombs of Teleon, and into the last level of Tibet. See, that one only took me 27 minutes. Two health packs. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, guys. Welcome to the Catacombs of... No, the Ice Palace. It's catacombs. We've just done the Catacombs. And after this, we're on the most notorious level. Anyway. There's one thing about this level I don't like, and it's these fucking bounce pads. I've never liked them. I don't know why they thought these were a good idea. I wish they would just go away. Sometimes they just don't fucking work. Thank you. Jesus. Oof. I would have been dead if that had been... Um... If that had been worked. Okay. Basically, do that to use bounce pads. Also, when you use bounce pads, just pray. Because... They're only really used in this level and the next level. But, oh boy, in that short time, are they going to make the most of them? Uh -huh. They're not so bad in this level, but they are so much worse in, um, to, in the next level. The level of all evil. Oh god, three yetis. piss around with yetis, they can kill you in seconds. Uh -huh. Grab this. Yeah, as you can see, I'm gonna, I'm starting to use my other guns a bit more now because well, I want to live. Um, also, <laughs> secret Do you know what the funny thing is? If you position this boulder just right, you can actually get the Yeti to um, <coughs> climb on it, and it will climb through the roof, and it will keep going up and up and up, and then it will just drop from the sky while chasing you um, into uh -huh. that room. 
Hopefully I can get it to happen. It happened on the PlayStation version. So hopefully it will work on this version. Ice Palace. Shit, okay. Okay, run, 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 run. Don't worry about the pit, it's an invisible bridge. Right, you can see, you can hear, it's disappeared, right? That's because... If I give it time... See? It just climbed its way off the roof. Anyway, first secret. I just love how they use an invisible um, an invisible bridge at this bit. Something that they're going to use to their full extent in um, Tomb Raider 3. I know Jenny, alright? It's mad. It's mental. And also because this is Tomb Raider. Um, well, now that there's a dead Yeti in there. Congratulations, he's got himself a tomb. That Yeti will never be found. Yeah. That's the only time that bug actually happens, but it works. It's not a very exciting bug, it's just... <laughs> it just looks weird. <laughs> the other good thing about this level is it's not too long. It's actually quite short, this level. It just makes up for it with the fucking bounce pads. I don't, I don't know how anyone could find that secret out without a guide. Um, it is a tricky one to spot. The other reason I know about it is I've been playing this game so long. Plus, I had plus any that I did, I couldn't find. Um, my dad probably did. So shoot the bell. Now let's see if I can do this bit in one go. Right. Did you run about? <sighs> okay, right. Ready? Basically what you have to do here, jump back and forth. And do this. Like a gymnast. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Mm. <laughs> okay. Robocop pistols. to bet. Oh look, a secret. Behind bars. Must have done something wrong. That was that was a mistake straight away falling down there. See? Instead of um, snow leopards in this level it's um white tigers. I have no idea why. I have no idea. Uh-huh. It's just weird. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Light this with a flare in case they put spikes anywhere. Okay, second secret of the level. Uh -huh. And the third secret's a doddle, so. I'll say it's a doddle, it's a bit of a bitch to get, but you know. Oh, yeah, I haven't opened it yet. Okay. Okay. Yeah, in case you can't tell, I've, I have done this level a fair few times. Oh, 
Oh, yay. But yeah, if you're wondering about the Ice Palace, guys, look. There's the Catacombs Italian that we've just been in. So, we've literally... We're literally visiting an area that's p parallel to where we live. Oh god, I thought there was another one up here. Then. Is this the evil one? Is this the one where they drop you in there and it's all got spikes in it? Uh -huh. I think it is. Yes, thank you, Genial. Oh, that one's so loud. Oh, God. Oh, God, that could have been so bad. That could have been so fucking bad. Always look where the Yeti is before you leap. Also, I know I'm being gluttonous with my flares, but literally I've got, I've got that many that... I think I'm going to have to turn the volume of that down. Put the Tibetan mask in. And I'm also upping the price. Come back, that's going to be 500 channel points each. I think I'm kidding, uh -huh. it's going to be. Okay. So having put that mask in... You know, basically... <laughs> Thanks, Brit. <laughs> okay, guys. So basically here... You see we're in... Oh, there's flares over there. Um, we're in the... Back in the Catacombs Italian. Conveniently with some edits so that you can get back to the actual main bit uh -huh. of the level. <laughs> but you can actually get to a section of this level... For, um, the Ice Palace, the, the section of Catacombs of the Tellian, which you're not supposed to get to. Um, it's pretty cool, but you can actually get all the way over there. You have to do a bit of a, a bit of a glitch to do it, and it doesn't yield anything beneficial. It's just a cool thing to do. Jump at this wall. Oh shit, I didn't want to jump forwards. So, poured that in there. So that... Oh, I think though in this level, guys, there are no more um, guys with guns. So, that's good. Uh -huh. Okay, so what you're basically meant to do is... If it, I'm not. I'm not going to attempt it, but uh, you can get back up to. You can do the jump glitch, and you can get up there, and then you can jump to there, and then you can travel all around that area. Um, I can't remember how I did it. I think there is ammo in the water. Yep, yeah, there is. There's some good old Uzi clips. And on the other side is the objective that we need. Because, you know, I, I'm in desperate need of Uzi clips. Yeah, I know. Uh, believe it, Jenny, I am. I can basically... I basically remember... Pff, 19... <laughs> Guys, thank you for deafening me. Thank you. Right, I'm going to try this. Oh. Fucking marvellous. You made me reload the fucking game. Damn it. I reloaded instead of fucking saving. Um. God damn it, man. Oh. Oh, well. Well done.
You crashed my stream. Oh, fuck. It doesn't matter. It wasn't too much progress. If it was like half a level, I'd have been really pissed, but it's not that much. Fucking A. Uh, Parrot, if you're still on Fortnite, I'll be there after this level. Um, if not, I will be on... Uh, we can always have a chat on Discord. <sighs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. People laugh at my misfortune. And then they make it make the make the game do a loud sound alert noise. I knew that the moment I put that sound alert in that it was gonna get abused. I I, put, I basically put it in for you guys. Cause I'm nice. Okay, pull this lever, jump to the left right. That's how we're meant to do it. Don't go into that flaming stream. There we go. I managed to catch myself up. Shotgun shells and Uzi clips. Uh -huh. To be fair, my time limit on streams usually is about three hours, and we're on two hours and twenty, and we're at least halfway through this level. So, and this is the last level I'm doing today. So it's all good. All right, now, I'm going to save the game, and I'm going to attempt that bug that I was on about. I have to get it exact, though. Also, I'm going to drop the flare, because the flare might actually cause problems. Okay, Scott, save the game. Oh, fuck. Come on, Lara, I know you can do it. Come on, Lara, do the corner bug. Okay, so you, you get the idea, right? Except I'm supposed to jump slightly to the side when I do that. Um, one. And there you go. I am in a section of the level which you are not supposed to get into. <clears throat> Crazy, never knew this. This is, this is, like, when, at one point, I was that, uh, I'd done this game that many times, I literally went through levels just trying random shit and seeing if I could actually get stuff to work. I mean, the only problem with me being up here now is that, um, it's gonna hurt. See? That's the problem. And the only thing you can do up here is pull a switch. So, it's totally useless, but if you want to do it, that's how you do it. You would watch that, what, me doing random shit? Oh, God. That's basically just my streams. I play the game and it's just random shit. Cool. Okay, get the gong of destiny. Bust out the G-O-D. The gong of destiny. Stupid eels. Stupid eels. Or catfish, whatever you are. Wusses, that's what you are. So I have to keep beating you out. I also like how that texture warps. Yeah. Also, do you want another little bug? Here's another little bug for you. Um, I'm under the water, but I've surfaced. Literally just skim the edge of the water like that. God. You can't get further than that, but there we go. Yeah. 
Oh dear, it's the Yeti. They're very cross. Now they're dead. Or the Yeti are dead, so why are you playing that? my friend try again next week oh wait yeah i'm not here next week <laughs> i've barely used my grenade launcher uh -huh. i have been hoarding these grenades i've been hoarding these grenades for perhaps the best bug that i've ever seen in the game uh -huh. oh mainly because anybody who's played this game knows how annoying those jade um chinese warrior statues are that float around with swords and the ones that have spears I can teach you how to kill every single one of them um, that waits to be activated before it even activates. Does that bug work on PC? This uh -huh. is the PC, um, Genial. Oh no, it's a trap. Oh no, boulders. I'm not bowled over by this one. Run. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Wait till I land on the bloody floor. I thought it only worked on the PlayStation. Oh, well, it, like, as far as I know, um, it should work. But if it doesn't work, then fair enough. Um, we'll find out anyway, next episode. Okay, there is absolutely nothing down there, so fuck it. This ice wall is both cool, pardon the pun, but also... Um, Oh, if it works, I could have done with that last month. Sorry. Literally, all you have to do is pump about six grenades into the point-blank range when they um, are frozen, and it should work. Just going to top my old health up here, guys. Because uh, I do not like this drop. Also, we're going into the last part of the level, and... Yeah. Welcome to the Ice Palace, guys. Yep. Mitigate the damage by doing that. Wow, that would have killed. Actually, would have killed me if I'd have. So that gong has shattered the doors to the ice palace, which is that bit we've just been to. Ooh, into the darkness. Okay, if you want to get the very last secret, you have to come down here, which is not the nicest thing to do because both sides are just covered in spikes. But just go down there, flick that switch, climb up this ladder with, for some reason, a texture that has shrunk down when all the other textures are stretched to their actual size. Don't ask, it's just how the ladder is. And do a backflip. Oh, wait till you guys, wait till those of you who haven't seen this bit, see the boss of this section. Oh, I actually might just pistol to death. I know there's items also in the ice hut. I don't know how I'm going to get them because it's fucking suicide doing it. Uh -huh. Okay, 
How many grenades have I got now? 79 grenades, okay. I'm good for the rest of the game then. This thing actually does frighten me a little bit because he's, um... Let's just say it's one of the most muscular creatures I've ever seen in freaking game. Everything's muscular in this game. Like, if you think the 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 cronies who work for Bartelli are muscular, let's wait till you see this thing. Okay, there's the Fiaminera symbol um, on the floor. Awesome. Um, which you can have as an emote if you guys follow and subscribe to the channel. Um, so if you want it, go ahead. Um, pick this up. The tell that that is the Tellian, which is the key to open the door. Look at the detail on that in this version. Nice. Um, but unfortunately, opening that stirs the guardian, and the guardian is very angry. Hello. Yeah, he pretty scary. He's just a big muscular hench eagle. Basically, basically, whatever the name of the eagle it Think of the eagle from the Muppets. I can't remember his name, but um, he's basically him on steroids. Fucking run! I'm gonna die. 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 I got the items. No, you don't, Sonny. Sam, that's his name. Sam. Hey, Sam. Why have you turned from my best friend into a bird per- Oh, fuck. I got fucked over by the bloody quarter detection. So I've got to do that again. Oh well. Take two. Go as far over there as you can. Otherwise I'm not even attempting this. Yeah, I'm going to call this guy Sam. He's just not going over there, is he? In fact, I could probably trick him. I could probably trick him. Fuck, he got a log stick. Fucking go! I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so fucking dead. Come on, big bird. Come on. Play the game. Oh, fucking balls. Right, that's it. Eat it! Yes, I am going to pistol him to death. Because he pissed me off. He's not that tough if you stand here. And I know some people will say, oh, that's cheating, that's coward's way. No, it's the saving ammo way. Ooh, he did.
Three secrets, three health kits, 20 minutes. All right, guys, I want you to enjoy this cutscene. Hopefully it fucking works. Because once this cutscene's over, I will be wrapping the stream up and the episode up because we are into... Big Mum just got out of bed there. Um... <laughs> Um, <laughs> thank you, Kiki, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, after this, I'm going to be ending the stream and enjoy the cutscene because it is probably the coolest cutscene in the game. Um, yeah, we're on to the final section of the game and it's the roughest, it's the toughest, but it also is probably the best. Anyway, enjoy. Also, if you like the shotgun sound effect, you'll love this cutscene. It's not me driving, obviously. She crashes. How fucking awesome is that cutscene? Okay, guys, here we go. Back to China. Back to that door. Ready? Welcome to hell. Won't you come on in? Okay, I'm saving this as quick as I can because of the music. Everybody, thank you for watching, everyone. Genial, Kiki, Paranormal Shadow, Brit, Ben52 Mother, everyone has joined in. Sonic the Fingers Man, Drone Spencer. We have made it back in here to the final section of the game. I'm Scotty Loderton. That is Laura Croft. See you in. The Temple of Zion. Well, shit. <laughs>